Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Come with me in the kitchen today because we're going to make something delicious made with ingredients from Dollar General. It is Thursday, March 10th, 2022. Oh my gosh. Already. I don't know. I don't know where. I don't know where the time goes, but the saying is time and tide waits for no man. So, or woman. Okay. All right. Today we're going to do something fun in the kitchen and we're going to um, make some soup. Now, I know, I know you guys are probably thinking, oh my gosh, this woman, all she does is make soup. Hold on a second. I had to make, I had to make sure my red light was flashing. Uh, all she does is make soup. I'm telling you, if you, if you don't know how to make anything else, learn to make soup. It will, it will get you through many skimpy times okay and we may be coming up on the skimpy times well we, some cases we are in the skimpy times um so uh soup is a wonderful wonderful way to make food stretch it's also a wonderful way to get nutrition into yourselves and your family your friends and it's also a way to uh Give yourself some comfort food. Soup is very comforting. It just always has been. Why do you think, why do you think Campbell's is so successful? It's not just the convenience. It's the comfort. Okay. Uh, I'm just telling you. Okay. So what have I got today? I have, oh, I have a Dollar General bag. Mm -hmm. um, because in this bag, there's Dollar General stuff. And that's gonna be that's gonna be the basis of our soup. Okay. So what do I have in my little Dollar General bag? You're gonna be excited. I've got a few prices for you too. I've got now, first of all, why Dollar General? Because Dollar Gen there's Dollar Generals everywhere. And that's number one. So they're easily accessible. Uh, number two, a lot of Dollar Generals are within walking distance for people. And so they can, um, it's easy for them to get to. And another thing is the fact that they are fairly reasonable in cost. I think you have to be careful. They have a lot of, surprising, a lot of dollar items in Dollar General. So that's one thing as well. Now, um, I was in Dollar General picking up a few things that I needed and um, which by the way I want you to know in case you're looking um, evaporated milk or what I call canned milk evaporated milk is one dollar for the Clover um, the Clover Valley brand which is the Dollar General brand it's one dollar in this in the store Dollar General so if you're looking for it and that's the cheapest I've found it. I haven't been able to find it in my Aldi yet, but I was told by a lovely uh, viewer who commented and said she found the evaporated milk in dollar in Aldi for one dollar. I found it in Dollar General, in case you're looking, and you want some evaporated milk to keep on your shelf for your food storage. Okay, so. Uh, here, this is what we have. I have a a um, 32 ounce it's a quart of chicken broth, and it, it's it's the Clover Valley brand, which is the Dollar General brand. So I've got that. This quart of chicken broth cost a dollar fifty. Wasn't on sale or marked down, it's just dollar fifty. I've got. A, now, see if you can guess what I'm going to make from these ingredients. See if you can guess what we're going to do. I've got 
a two can pack of Clover Valley chunk chicken white meat chicken and to buy them this way it was a little cheaper than buying individual cans because I could save some money if I bought them individually two cans would have cost me four dollars this double pack cost me three dollars and eighty five cents and we're going to use one of those cans today can you guess what we're making <laughs> okay um, and this way each can weighs 10 ounces so we're going to use one can and these are packed in broth as well so that makes the one can cost us one dollar and ninety three cents and I round it up so and we have a bag of Clover Valley extra wide egg noodles and this bag was one dollar and twenty six cents for this particular pot of soup we're going to use half half of this package which gives us half for another time so our noodles in the soup will cost us sixty three cents okay all right that's our dollar that's our dollar general ingredients now the other ingredients that we're going to add now keep in mind this is all coming from the pantry I've got some frozen vegetables uh, those are you know from my food stores downstairs so we got that that's our dollar general ingredients and truth be told just those uh, three ingredients would make a really good soup in my opinion and, and if, it's, if that's all you have that would be great okay so what I'm going to add to this soup I'm going to add one can of Aldi Happy Harvest diced tomatoes these diced tomatoes it says they were grown in the USA USA you whatever uh, they were grown in the USA they're just plain diced tomatoes and they have some salt added that's it uh, these tomatoes were 64 cents I have one onion which comes from a bag of onion I'm going to use the whole onion so I'm counting this at about 12 cents and I have one bag of steamed mixed vegetables from Aldi and these are 12 ounces they cost 88 cents I think I'm going to use the whole bag we'll see when we get there but so breaking that all down that's going to make our soup uh, our pot of soup five dollars and seventy cents now the reason why we're doing this this way and the reason we're going to do this with with uh, these ingredients and is from and their pantry ingredients is because some people do not have the resources uh, to shop at a bigger store or maybe they couldn't get transportation at that time some folks it's nothing against anybody but some people do not know how to um, cook a whole chicken debone the chicken and do all that nor do they have the resources with which to do it uh, this just takes a pot it takes a pot a pan a decent sized kettle and um, the seasoning we're going to use is the onion of course and we're going to use um, salt and pepper I might sprinkle some garlic in there but I'll show you that when we get to it garlic powder I have not bought fresh garlic in ages because 
it costs too much and it never looks good. I don't know what's going on with it, but regardless. So, that's what we're going to do. You don't really need a recipe for this. If you don't, if, if you want to try to make this, and, um, and honestly, it's, it's time-wise, it's very frugal on time, and it's also very, um, all these ingredients are easily accessible. If you don't want to add the mixed vegetables, don't add carrots or whatever you want, or don't add any. This does increase the nutrition, and it increases the volume on your soup. Um, so, now, what we're going to do is, you ever get that little piece of plastic bag that is like staticky and it absolutely doesn't, does not come off of your hand? <laughs> so, okay, uh, let's get started on this. I jibber jabber chatty chatty Kathy enough here. So let's get started on this and we'll talk as we go. Okay, you ready for this? <laughs> We're going to use one pot. And I'm going to sh show you how we're going to use one pot. Now I put some water in here. I'm going to use this pot to boil the noodles. Now you may be asking yourself, that's salt that went in there by the way, you may be asking yourself or asking me, Simple Food Simple Life, why don't you just make the soup and then put the noodles in the soup? Because we're going to cook the noodles ahead of time. And you may have heard me mention this before. When I put noodles or pasta in soup, I don't like to just put the, the dry noodles in there because it sucks up the broth for one thing, which is then it's not soup anymore. And if it doesn't suck up the broth and you keep having to add more broth, then once you have leftovers you store it in the refrigerator, it sucks up the broth. So then you end up with cloudy, thick uh, facsimile of soup. So I don't like that. So I always cook my pasta separate from the soup and then add it at the end. So I'm going to cook my pasta according to the package directions and then I'm going to put it in a, a colander and I rinse it really well with cold water because I'm rinsing that starch off there. If you do this little trick, your soup will not become cloudy and it will not become um, thick. It will remain soup because you don't want all your broth sucked up into the pasta. That's not that's not the point. And another thing, you don't have to wait until your water boils. I know somebody's gonna cringe over that, but you don't. Just keep an eye on it and you know separate your separate your pasta, your noodles as it goes in. And bring it to a boil. I've got the water salted and just cook them until they're tender. So it could take, I don't know what, 12 minutes? I don't know. Okay, so while that is coming to a boil and cooking, I'm going to chop up, chop up my onion here and I'm going to make it fairly small. So you can do two things at once. Now, this soup is perfect for those of you who don't have, um, whose cooking skills have not achieved maturity yet. <laughs> so, young people, if you're not familiar with the kitchen and you want to cook for yourself or you're in a position where you need to cook for yourself, maybe you're at college, there's all kinds of reasons for this. This is perfect for you because all of these ingredients require no work. 
even onion. If you don't want to chop an onion, either leave it out, use onion powder, great substitute, or you can use dehydrated onion. I'll show you. You can put in a couple of tablespoons of dried onion. This costs 95 cents at Aldi. So you don't even have to chop anything if you don't want to. Okay? All right. Easy, easy, easy. So I'm going to chop up this onion and cook these noodles. Get them drained and rinsed. And we'll be back and whip up this soup. Do you want to see how I chop up this onion? Just for your own information. I just cut the onion in half, hold on to it well, I just slice it. I don't have to slice it down the middle or anything because I want to show you something. See all of those little ridges? It's already pre-diced for you. All you have to do is do that. Then hold on snugly and just dice it up. It will separate itself perfectly fine, very easy to do. If you get a big chunk or two, you can chop it up. That's it. And now that I look at this, I think I'm just going to use half of this onion. And I'll save the rest of the onion for something else. Wasn't that easy? See, this came to a boil really quick. And I started out with warm water. So I'm going to stir it. I'm going to turn the, turn the heat down because I don't want it to boil over because that's messier than you know what. Um, and I am just going to stir it until the noodles are done. Okay, I want you to see that these noodles are cooked. Took about 10-12 minutes. I ran cold water over them. Uh, and they are completely cold now. And they're not starchy, so these noodles will not be sticking together. I don't want them to be starchy, okay? All right, I just wanted to show you that. Now then, using the same pot, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here. This is just that a classic olive oil. It's not extra virgin, but you can use whatever you have. And I'm going to add these onions. To the oil and we're going to give them we're going to give them a good stir put a little salt on them that will help sweat them yes we're going to have sweaty onions <laughs> now I get Sometimes I get really nasty, nasty comments. And, I, you know, I don't care. If people want to bully you, I guess, you know, they're going to, doesn't matter. You can't, you can't do everything right to suit everybody. Can't please all the people all the time. So, I get really nasty comments sometimes about, you talk too much. You could have made that in three minutes. Which sometimes I say, oh, that's really great. And uh, when you get a YouTube channel, uh, you can demonstrate how that's done. Uh, <laughs> but this is a, that's just the way my channel is. And if people don't like it, I think they could move on. It's not a big deal to me. It doesn't really mean that much to me. Um, and you can always skip through the, the, chan the video. I don't care. I'm not offended by that. And uh, so, to me, it's it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm visiting with you, and you're visiting with me, and most of the time I'm trying to demonstrate how to do something. 
So sometimes I'm doing it from beginning to end because sometimes people need to learn how to do things or they want to learn. Everybody starts somewhere. And you know what? If my channel isn't for you, that's okay. I'm, I'm good with it. Now we're adding our package of frozen mixed vegetables. into the mix, and I'm going to add in some garlic. Now, if you want to measure your garlic, you go ahead. That's great. Otherwise, I am, I just dump it in. Uh, if you're new to cooking, don't worry about that. I'm trying to show you a few things that can, get, can hold you in good stead, and this is going to give you a good meal. Uh, if you're a single person or young person, think how many, um, or young single person, think how many lunches you can get out of this. You can get some nice, you can probably have lunch all week out of this. When I get done with it, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, put this in jars and let, and then we'll see how much food we actually have. Alright, so, now, why am I doing it like this rather than just dump it all in at once? Because this brings out the flavor of the onion. It brings out the flavor of the vegetable. And get this mixed up. See, that oil is kind of cooking away there. Now we're going to add our tomatoes. When you add another ingredient, you might have to turn your heat back up. That's okay. These are just plain diced tomatoes. They're salted. Well, that looks good already, doesn't it? Okay. Now, um, oh, I want to tell you this. If you take the label off your can and clean it up really nice, do you know that you can use your cans to bake banana bread in or other sweet breads? And they make a perfect little round... Um, circle of uh, cylinder of bread and you can slice it off and it's it's awesome so if you want to save a can or two to bake in it works out great you just have to spray them well grease them well so that your bread doesn't stick it's cheap cheaper than buying a baking pan <coughs> okay all right we got these going. Now we're going to add our chicken. Now I opened this chicken. You can see that there's broth in there. So we're just going to put it all in. All of it. Speaking of which, do you know that if you save these, these larger cans to bake in, take the, take the label off, wash them up really good, make sure there's no little pokey parts on there after you open it, you can, they make beautiful little cakes. Here. And I'm not just saying that because here's one of mine I bake in. They make beautiful little cakes or individual baked oatmeal for breakfast. I'm, uh, individual uh, bread pudding. It, it, they're awesome. And they don't cost you anything. a great one. I need more of these larger cans to bake in, so I'm going to make sure I save that one. So now we got our chicken in there. Pretty awesome. Bring that up. I'm going to taste that. Oh, that tastes good already. Now, we're going to pour in our broth. And a lot of cooking is eyeballing. It's just eyeballing stuff. That's pretty awesome. That's good soup right there. Oh my gosh, we could actually stop there if we wanted to. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. Oh, don't 
you love me? Don't you love me for showing you this? You should love me for showing you this because it's great. All right, we're going to bring that back up to a boil. Do you know that there's a recipe on this label? It's chicken and peppers skillet supper. Rotler. Maybe one of these days we'll try that recipe on the label. I do have a couple in mind and I'm, that we're going to do recipes on the label. Now, I like things to look party, so I'm going to put a little dried parsley in here. You can put it in or not. It's up to you. Or, if you want to, you could put in some celery. Celery and onion. How about that? This is so great. Now, we, I'm going to cook this long enough to make sure that our vegetables are tender. All right. I've got... I've got this turned down low, and I've got my noodles here, and I want you to see what I mean by the advantage of cooking the noodles ahead. These are rinsed thoroughly, and they are not sticking together. That means the starch is off of them. Oh, look. They got some sketty in there. <laughs> but you, And you don't have to use these noodles. You can use any pasta. Okay, um, so you can see they're not sticking together. So I may not use this whole amount because this has expanded quite a bit. I may just use part of it. So I'm going to put a couple handfuls in there. If I don't use all of it, I will. Take the rest, put it in a sandwich bag, pop it in the freezer, and then I can use it for something else. But we'll see what we got. That's the thing about noodles or pasta, they expand a lot. So you can start out with a small amount like that half a bag and you end up with a whole lot more than that. What do you think? I don't know. Should we use them all? But see, the beauty of this, they will not make your soup cloudy and they will not absorb all of your broth. Now, if that's your intention to make a thick soup or stew or casserole or whatever, that's great. It works perfectly. Then I wouldn't worry about rinsing them. Let's see what we got here. Oh. This looks, does that look awesome? And see, this didn't take very long. Yeah, the video is longer because I'm chatty, but it doesn't take that long. And if you see some big chunks of chicken, which you're likely to, you can break them up if you want to. Or you can leave them chunky. It's up to you. Or buy a can of the shredded chicken, and then you don't have to worry about it. All right, I'm going to see what this tastes like. I think I'm going to reserve the rest of those noodles. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow, that's really delicious. That is really, really good. I think that's actually perfect. Crunch up a couple pieces of those chicken there. Okay, I think I'm going to save the rest of this and I'm going to use it um, in something else or just turn it into butter noodles. Butter noodles with some garlic and lemon is spectacular. Okay, so they will get eaten. All right, now then, I'm going to take this because now everything's cooked, right? So I'm, I'm going to take this and I'm going to fill up some pint jars, and I'm going to see how much soup I actually have. Now then, if you don't have these uh, mason jars, these pint, don't worry about that. If you get pasta sauce in jars, 
scrub those jars out and save those. They, they work perfectly well for this type of application, okay? Um, you don't have to go out and buy canning jars if you're not a canner. I wouldn't even worry about that. Or put it in other containers. It doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to jar this up, and then we'll see how much soup we have. Okay, I've ladled all the soup out into these jars. These are pint jars. They hold two cups. So I want you to see what we got out of those ingredients. We have two, four, six, eight, ten cups of soup plus this is about a quarter of a cup right here or so. I put that in there especially to show you it was the exact amount because I want you to know what you're going to be able to get out of this. Now I'm going to put the lids on these. I'm going to stick them in the refrigerator. This is not preserved. This is for the refrigerator. So I want to make that clear to you. So um, part of the soup is going to be for my lunch. I'm going to break my fast with the soup because it's, well, it's doggone delicious. <laughs> I'm excited. So think about it in terms of Lunches. This can be lunches for five days. It can be um, it can be a whole supper for um, your family, and it's pretty easy. It comes together pretty quick, and all the ingredients other than the onion is cooked, basically or frozen. So it's not that hard. Um, actually, it's not hard at all. And um, I just want to show you this, that you could add this to your meal. You can make it for supper, add this to your meal. This costs 60 cents at uh, Dollar General. So a lot of these ingredients, as you saw, come from Dollar General. I gave you the price breakdown on those. And this whole batch of soup costs, rounding up, it costs $5.70. So... It basically, you've got a um, dollar if you if you eat two cups a day. It's a dollar a day for all of this nutrition. Okay. All right. I hope that you give this a try, and and I think it was fun. It's fun to do things like this because how else are you going to know? Okay. So. Um, these are all made from pantry items, and uh, they're absolutely delicious. I hope you give it a try, and you know if I can do it, you can do it. You just absolutely can. I really love you guys. I really do, and I'm telling you, I want to tell you guys something. When people comment on my videos, if you're not reading the comments, you're missing out on some very, very good information because the people who watch my videos and stick to the bitter end. <laughs> they have a lot of skills, a lot of experience, and they can help you with a lot of things. So don't be afraid to comment on their comments and ask them questions because they will be happy to help you. They know a lot of things, okay? All right, listen, I love you. I really, really do. I'm so glad that you're here with me. And uh, as always, little is much when God is in it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I always, I always, uh, if I have a, if there's a YouTube video of someone else that I really, really like and I think will be helpful, I, did, I share it on my Facebook page because I think it's good information. People need to know these things. And so share it on your Facebook page if you happen to have one or on your social media. I think people would probably get something from it. All right. I love you guys. And I will talk to you later.